Hello everyone and welcome back to another virtual safari from Adigwe Safari Lodge. So those red bull ox peckers, those birds all crawling all over the buffalo, they're actually providing them an extremely, extremely helpful hand. They sit on the animals and actually feed on all the skin parasites. Buffaloes are bulk grazers and aren't very picky with what they eat. As long as it's grass, they'll feed on it. So Gemspok being very indicative of desert regions, uh, we often see them in footage uh, within desert, like actual arid desert. Um, we are semi-arid um, and this is because they are extremely well adapted to preserving water in a number of different ways. One of the methods that they use to reduce their water intake is to actually raise their body temperature and use evaporative cooling by nasal panting and sweating to reduce water. This is actually a very rare sighting. This is a secretary bird. It's one of our predatorial birds. And as we can see, they really, really enjoy these types of habitats, open grasslands with scattered trees and shrubs. And they're very predatorial, as I said. So they prey on a lot of, uh, Animals like insects, amphibians, um, snakes, other birds in their eggs, small rodents, mammals, you name it. All of this is done, they have a very powerful stomp that they use that, try, that basically impales the animal, tries to crush them and break their spines and just basically batter them to death. Beautiful long legs giving them a little bit of a height advantage over the ground. So they can almost look down and, well, a bird's eye view, excuse the pun. Um, just to spot a lot more of the prey a lot easier. also helps them to navigate easier through the grass so they don't get tangled up. Those legs are also very indicative of a bird of prey that hunts snakes and venomous other venomous animals. Um, those legs are very, very hard and actually almost like an armor plate to help protect them from snake bites. You also find it a lot with uh, snake eagles and other birds of prey that will also hunt venomous snakes. This is actually a reasonably gregarious bird. This means that they don't, they do actually like to stay in pairs or in small flocks. Um, sometimes you find them solitary, like this individual over here, but you also find them in pairs and occasionally groups of three to four. Um, there's even been recordings of up to 50 individuals um, drinking at watering holes in very arid and dry areas. These birds are monogamous breeders and establishing territories thereafter establishing a nest. The territorial displays include soaring, pendulum flight displays and wings open display. And the territory once established is actually defended by both individuals, the male and the female. Buffalo are very good at utilizing the time in the middle of the day when the chances of lions being active uh, are greatly decreased as it's very hot um, to come down to the water and 
um, that allows them longer time basically to roll around in it and drink as much as they need to and then disperse back into the thickets when they're done. It's not very common to see a lot of the reptile species in winter, but it is it is possible as during warm days they would venture outside and probably probably go and get a little bit of food or a little bit of water if they need it. Um, but generally they would be in a state of uh, brumation or hibernation now. Fun fact, leopard tortoises, not only as some species of tortoises, um, can they float, not swim, float, but they can actually swim. They're the only species of tortoise that can swim, um, as opposed to what are very confused with turtles and terrapins. Turtles live in the sea and terrapins live inside of fresh water. Tortoises live on land. That's why it's incredible, because to leopard tortoises can swim. This is a Nile crocodile. This is one of five species of crocodile that we get on the continent and it is also our largest species of crocodile that we get on the continent. Some of them even reaching up to 20 feet long. And most individuals ranging between the weight of about 200 kilograms up to about 750 kilograms. But as in the case of the 20 foot long individuals, um, they also have been recorded weighing in at up to a ton, one ton crocodile, and there's a massive crocodile. And this very easily gives it the title of Africa's largest freshwater predator. And this is the second species of squirrel we get in Medique, the ground squirrel. These squirrels spend their entirety of their life living amongst a network of tunnels that they've constructed under the ground, as suggested by their name. So the family name Scuridae uh, for squirrel, it actually dates back to the old Greek word um, skuros, which means shady tail. And this is due to that nice big black tail that they have um, that these squirrels use to 
as basically umbrellas. They'll lift them and lift them up over their bodies and fan them out to cover them and protect them from the sun so they can sit during the day and forage just like they are over here. This was taken a little bit later in the evening. Um, and you can see here they're spending quite a bit of their time now feeding on the little bits of ground matter. They also feed on insects sometimes, sometimes some ants and termites, um, but mainly vegetation. It's suggested that that white coloration at the top of the body is actually used as a visual cue to show dominance over an area, over a territory to other individuals. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us for another Medico Safari Lodge virtual safari.